All right, this next game is the Owl of the 8 bit treasures. It's $4.99, 11 megabyte download. This is version 1.0. And let's check it out. Oh, first of all, the graphics are very, very good. But a huge minus for this game is there's no save or no instant save. Like if you get a phone call while you're playing this game or you leave the game, you start back over again here. So that really sucks. So that really hurts this game. The controls over here, not anywhere near as good a control. The controls basically suck compared to um, sort of Fargo. So, the, it's got good graphics, like I said. The graphics are better than sort of a Fargo. Gameplay is not. And it actually gets, the game gets hard pretty fast. As you see, um, we, we died there. So, that's just the first level. So, if I was playing this seriously, I wouldn't have went in against three of those little beetle things. So right now, $4.99. It's kind of ridiculous for this game, being the huge save part. I was, I don't know, it was about five or six levels into this game before I got a phone call, and I had to start back over again here. So I just can't get into this game for that fact. So if you can pick this game up for cheap like 99 cents maybe grab it and hope that they update it otherwise definitely skip it for 4.99 instead spend your 4.99 on um sort of sort of fargo so here you have some potions you can use recover her hit points I don't like the hit system either, where you have to hit this every time to swing. I think it should do it automatically, or at least an option to do that. So here you go. Basically, I would pass on this game. Oh, this is one of those games where I heard wonderful things about on some of the major boards. You know I'm talking about those boards that say nothing bad about any games, no matter how much the game sucks. I think because they get the games for free. But this is one of those games where I'll tell you, definitely pass on it for now.